I just got back from a walk. So I just got back from a walk. And that's just about it. I'm really tired though. Really tired. I like, you know that, f uh, the, mm, the smell you get in your nose? After you've been like crying for like three hours straight? I haven't been crying for three hours straight, but I have like a cold. So all I smell now is that. And it's not very nice. Yeah. Anyways, so I took my dog for a walk. Her name's Grace. She's a dog. That's just about it. We called her Grace. Because she taught us a lot of Grace. And, yeah. So we take her for a walk. I took her for a walk. And I walked around. I walked to a bridge. That's just about as exciting as it gets, walking to a bridge. Anyways, so I went under the bridge, and then I walked back. And on the way back, it's quite sunny out right now, actually. It's very nice. Um, I was looking at, like, the streams, and the leaves, and the shadows from the trees. And it was very... It was very pretty. At least that's what I thought. And I was like, wow, isn't that interesting? You know, how, like, you walk through, you go for a walk or something, right? And normally you just walk by all these nice things, and you're like, oh, yeah, nice things. But then occasionally you get that moment where, like, why is everything so amazing? And, um, yeah, I had one of those moments. And then as I'm finishing walking home, my dear sweet mother, she calls me. Oh, I should probably state, my mother, my father, my brother, and ya are up at a spa right now without me. God, it's a really nice spa too. I've been there before. They have like hot pools and cold pools and then steam rooms. It's really nice. Anyways, the reason they went there is first of all because, you know, yeah, it's a spa. And second of all, my brother has his girlfriend over. She's visiting from a far away distant land. And yeah. So no, she's visiting. And they thought, oh, let's go to the spa and we'll leave him behind. Isn't that nice? Um, yeah. So, they went to the spa. First they got sushi. And all I had for lunch was rice. Like, old rice. Stale rice. I hate stale rice. Ugh. It is one of the most awful things in the world. Unless you can get it unstale, which is really hard. And I tried to get it unstale by, like, pouring water on it and then putting it in the microwave. It didn't quite work. So I had stale rice, and then I put two slices of roast beef on it, and then I poured roast beef gravy over it. It was pretty good, but you can't really top sushi, right? Um, what else? So yeah. Brother's girlfriend's visiting sushi. Oh yeah, so I'm walking home. And my dear sweet mother decides to call me. And I'm like, oh, she's calling me. But she's not calling me from her phone. She's calling me from dear sweet father's phone. And why is that? Oh, it's because her phone's a piece of garbage now. Because apparently I dropped it in, this, in a um, Dairy Queen lizard. It was an accident. And it was dark. And it was totally not my fault. Anyways. So... She calls me on father's phone, so, yeah, and also, I didn't know it was her at first. I was kind of hoping it was one of my friends, because, yeah, you know, whenever she's calling, it's going to have to do something with, like, oh, could you mow the lawn? Uh, I 
did that last time. Anyway, so I didn't know it was her because I cleared my contact info because I didn't want certain people messing around with it. That's a long story and I'm not going to get around into it because I've had enough deviations. Anyways, so she says like, oh, remember how you're kind of in that swimming club thing? And like, oh. Which I haven't been going to because of provincials and et cetera and end of school stuff. But school never really ends. Because, you know, that would just be ridiculous if it did. Anywho, she's like, yeah, well, you should, you're going to go start going again. Because I decided to not go until I was done provincials. And I'm done provincials now. Well, except for that one later science or whatever. It doesn't matter. <sighs> So, yeah, apparently I'm going swimming tonight. Well, I'm going to go there at 4, and I'm going to run for an hour, and then I'm going to swim for another hour. I'm going to be there until 7, and I feel like I have a cold, and I really don't want to. But, you know, exercise is exercise, and blah, 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 blah. Oh. And then I have to do two science test todays. Mmm, so much fun. Anywho, I'm really bored and I don't want to do any of it, but I should go do it. <sighs> I hate being sick, especially with the cold. It's the most annoying sickness next to, you know, like terminal ones like Lyme disease or cancer or. A tuberculosis, which isn't that cancer also. I think it is. Anyways. Or, you know, that, like, black thing from Spider-Man that becomes Venom. I... So, after that... I, um, did some signs, and then I got really, really tired, and I was, like, falling asleep while I was doing signs, which wasn't very good, so I took a nap, and then I woke up, and then I finished that signs, and now I have to go to swimming, Ugh. which kind of sucks, I'm not looking forward to it, I'm going to be in a lot of pain. But anywho, the bus is going to be here in about 16 minutes or so, so I'll probably head out rather soon. It's very bright out. I don't like it when it's very bright out. It's nice and warm. Just my eyes want to burn out of their sockets. <sighs> Yeah, that's basically it. Eh. 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 There we go. And now I wait at the bus stop. Bus stop. And uh, here's the grass of the bus stop. It's really um, messy because, you know, I cut it because everyone tells me to cut grass. Side lawn. I did it. Yeah. Um, and the lawnmower is having a hard time starting. It's like, maybe it's out of gas. Like, we never fill that thing up with gas, so it must be out of gas. So I go get the gas can fill it up and then I it goes but it doesn't go for very long so anyway yeah bus stop woo So, 
the bus arrived uh, 15 minutes late of what my mother told me it would be. And uh, yeah, I'm supposed to be at the, my dry land training right now, and I'm not. And apparently this bus doesn't go to where I need to go. It usually does, but not today. But what's very nice is apparently it's free for students now, so yay. I didn't have to pay money. That's always nice. So, I had to get off because, um... Yeah, they're going to, uh, way over, they're going to, that bus is an express downtown, apparently. Which is, uh, lots of fun. Uh, so yeah, I'm a major silhouette right now. Uh, so I gotta go to another bus stop. And, uh, apparently wait ten minutes. Oh, to joy, eh? I'm gonna be a little late, which I'm actually kind of happy about. <laughs> you know, I'm not feeling the best. It's my first time back, and I get to miss a little bit, so you know, that's nice. <laughs> As I'm sitting in the shade, with my back to this lovely wooden fence, waiting for the bus, I had a bit of a revelation, and that's how great the plant thistle is. You know, like that spiky plant that has the purple flowers that kind of look all weird. There's a truck over there. Anyway. The reason it's, I, what I was thinking, is it's actually a great plant, right? Compared to poison ivy, or something like that. Because poison ivy, you gently brush poison ivy, and you are going to be in the bowels of agony for hours. But if you brush thistle, it'll poke ya. But what's really interesting about it, though, is it's like, it's not that sharp, but if you just like, you gotta kind of really bump into it to make it actually hurt you. But it doesn't have any lasting effects, but it hurts more than just getting poked. Anyways, my whole point I'm trying to make here is I would much rather have to deal with thistle than stinging nettle. Unless I had to remove it. But if I was like bushwhacking, thistle might be nicer. Although, really, Stinging nettle isn't that hard to bushwhack through. All you do is step it down. The thistle is just... Mm. On a side note, I once saw a thistle plant growing in an organic garden that was composted with goat poo. And it was huge. Like, huge. Really big. How big? I need to describe how big it was. It was like, at least a story tall. It was ginormous. Goat poo just does wonders for your garden, but also for your weeds. Anyway, that's all. On the bus again. This time it will take me where I need to go. And, um, yeah. Didn't charge me again, which is nice. I guess it's just a thing, because it's the summer, they really pity people that are still students. Uh, or maybe I'm not a student. Maybe I'm like a teen. I don't know. I'm just going to keep saying I'm a student, because I don't want to pay money. But anyways, it's been about... I was supposed to be there half an hour ago, so... That's going to be, you know, great. Okay, so, like, three, two hours later? Probably two, but a bit, oh, no, almost three. It's almost three hours later. Uh, yeah, I'm walking home. <laughs> uh, yeah, my parents and brother and, yeah, girlfriend. It's so awkward to say that. <laughs> That's, uh, uh, it, hmm. it just is. Uh, my brother, I've known him for a very long time, you know, a while, ever since I can really remember. 
There's pictures of him holding me as a wee little baby boy. It's like, why? Why did they do this to me? Um, it's not that I didn't expect him to get a girl. He's one of the most eligible, eligible men. Uh, by the way, I feel great after my swim right now. I feel really great. So he's one of the most eligible men, possibly, to get in the world. Next to me, of course, with my dashing good looks and wonderful sense of humor. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Um, I guess the whole thing's a little sudden. But, you know, they, had, they did know each other before. Um, anyways. This is getting really awkward. They're still in Whistler, because um, it was my other brother. I have two brothers and a sister-in-law on the other brother's side. Soon I'll have two sister-in-laws, hopefully. Uh, you know, if weddings and stuff can hurry up. But yeah, that's really loud. Thank you. Um, so it was their anniversary a couple days ago. And they went up to the same place where the spa is. It's like about an hour drive from here. It's kind of nice. They got some other stuff up there too. Um, so they went there. And they went there. And then they met them. And they were like, oh, hi, other you. It's like a big family. They just happened to bump into each other, apparently. Oh, they may have been like, hey, are you guys here too? And they're like, yeah. I don't know. So, they phoned me, and my dad, he's phones, and he's like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh, hi, dad. And he's like, oh, hi, son. And it was kind of a sketchy connection, and I just assumed that he was waiting outside and wanted us to hurry up, me to hurry up. There's not us, but you and me. Just, we're living together. <sighs> so, um, turns out he wasn't. And I hung up on him because the connection was really bad. I just said, okay, I'll be right out. And then he phoned me back and told me all this. And then I asked a friend who I was talking to at the time about modded computers, like, you know, Alienware stuff and stuff like that. Uh, he's one of my fellow swim mates. I asked him if he could drive me home. He's like, I think I can. So he tries to drive me home. And they do. I just asked him to drive me, like... I live up a, I, now that the car's bad, I live up a mountain. See those other mountains? Other mountains. I live on a mountain on the other side, stupid mosquitoes. Um, and I'm walking up the mountain right now, hill. Silhouette, silhouette, no silhouette. Um, I'm walking up the mountain right now. So I asked him to drive me to the bottom of my mountain, and now I'm climbing the mountain. Most people live on top of some kind of mountain of some kind when you think about it because islands are mountains out of the ocean these cars are so noisy um so yeah i'm walking and i got this little pouch in my roots product placement uh thingy and i'm sticking my phone in there and it plays sick tunes, yo. Yeah. I gotta go up there. And I came from there. We started all the way down there. This is a long video. It's four minutes. Gee. Anyways, I'll see you when I get home. And then I'll probably be like, oh, I'm so tired from my hair. But good news. <laughs> doesn't quite smell like I've been crying for three hours anymore. My head doesn't quite hurt. Maybe I just need more exercise. I don't know. It might be just I'm on an adrenaline high. Oh, and fun, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> it's Hell Week, if you don't know what that means. My swimming club has this thing called Hell Week, which is basically like, instead of coming and just doing stuff for two hours every day, you like come in the morning at 10 o'clock, Waiting for cars to pass. You come early and then we have a big mountain around here. We're going to climb that. Uh, and yeah. So it's Hell Week. 
and we we could basically do like five hours a day. Ah, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna try and do all of it, but I haven't been going because of provincials, and I was at a helping out at a summer camp yesterday. Last week, last week is different from yesterday. So yeah, then I'm going. I started going back. And it's terrible, like I'm so out of shape compared to everyone else there. Like we had this six pound medicine ball and we had to tread water, but like not normal tread water. Imagine this is your feet, you had to dolphin kick. You had a dolphin kick, which is basically just like going like this with your legs. Pelvic thrusting in the water essentially. Um, and you had to hold a ball out of the water and if the ball touched the water, you had to restart. And I kind of failed at that. I, I let my team down. When, if you're ever treading water, try lifting your hands out of the water. It's harder because your center of gravity is out of the water. So at the first time we did it, we had to keep our arms underwater. Like, well, we didn't have to, but we could. The second time we had to have our elbows out of the water. I couldn't do that. Uh, although I was being a total real nice guy the first time. Uh, everyone else, basically, we had a medicine ball, right? You didn't just hold it by yourself for a minute. You held it as a team so you'd pass it around. <sighs> everyone else was being total jerks. No offense, but it's true. Uh, and they were just passing it as quickly as possible. I, on the other hand, was being a nice man, and I'd hold it for a couple seconds and then pass it. I couldn't do that for the next time. Where were the elbows of the water? I was essentially drowning and I made my team lose. So we had to start over. And then another cool thing we did, <laughs> look at how far we up we are. We went around the curve. Another thing we did while swimming was we did, you had to just like, you hold onto a kickboard and just kick, like flutter kick. So do 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 do. I suck at that because I suck at swimming. Another loud car. Uh, so I suck at that because I suck at swimming. A bang in the distance. Uh, anyways, they gave me an... We all swam. We did a race first to see how fast we could swim. Uh, and I, of course, was slower than everyone else. But that's a quiet car. Uh, the lady based my swim coach. She based off how fast I had to go. So. If you went, for me, if I went over a minute and 30 seconds to do there and back, which is 50 meters, then I had to... Then you would have to come out and do some kind of punishment. And every, it was like, you know, sitting... Those cars are getting so annoying. It's like sitting against the wall, like you're sitting on a chair. For, you know, that really starts to hurt. It was like that, or planking, which is not what you think it is. It's like you're, it's like doing a push-up, but you're just holding yourself there. Uh, so we did that. And the nice thing is, with my handicap of like an extra 10 seconds from everyone else, I didn't actually have to do any punishments, which felt real good. Well, at the time it felt terrible, <laughs> but it feels good now. Uh, yeah. And then we did another one where it was a race. They gave me a head start because, you know, they're showing mercy on me. And... Anyway, basically how it worked is the first two people were exempt from any punishment. Everyone else had to do ten push-ups. The coach was rather nice near the end. She realized she needed to give me a bit bigger of a head start. So I made the last two, failed the first two. This is a big hill. I'll catch you later. Who's a good girl? Yes, Gracie is. Gracie's a good girl. Waiting for her boy. Waiting for her boy. You have hiccups. Oh boy. I'm home, yay. No one else is home yet. Ooh, we're sideways. Anyways, 
I'm gonna eat a banana. Plenty of potassium. Doctor Who joke. What? What? Anyways, now I'm gonna play Fallout 3. Why? Because I never finished it. Why? Because my brother lent it to his best friend, who lives forever away. A lot of people live forever away from us. Oh man, my legs are broken. Anyways, it was a good walk. I tried to stop by a friend's house because I wanted to say hi. And I'm generally one of the most lonely, pitiful people of all existence with my schedule and all. So I try and get as much social contact as I can. Because, you know, friends are pretty awesome. And he's a pretty awesome dude. Shoot, I dropped it. That's how tired I am. Um, where is it? Gracie, did you steal it? Uh, what did you do with the control of the remote? Let me see. Oh, there it is. Anyway. But he was away. What's funny? If he's at home, he'll answer his phone. But if he's not at home, he won't pick up his phone. Cell, cell phone, <laughs> of course. If it was his home phone, that would make perfect sense. But, um, it's not his home phone. Anyways. My brother's been on the PlayStation. Yes, we have a PlayStation with that kind of people. What game? Modern Warfare 3? Fallout? What was he doing? He's already beat Fallout. He might have watched a movie on Netflix or something. I don't know. My legs are so broken. I'm gonna die. Where's that banana? And there it is. It is just about 10.30. Um, and, yeah. They got home around 10. And I had some ramen, because, you know, ramen's delicious. Yeah, spicy ramen. And they brought me home a candy apple. Yep, that's basically it. I played Fallout. For a bit. Okay, quite a long bit. Time flies when you're playing Fallout. <laughs> yeah. Grace is sleeping on the floor. Well, she's not sleeping, but she's resting. She's lying on the floor. Gracie! <whistles> That's my puppy. Hello. Hello. I love you too. Can you say good night? Can you say good night? Good night. Good night. Good night. Oh boy. Good night. Good night.